Okay guys, what's up? Um, I wanted to show you guys Final Cut Pro 10 color correction. Um, it does make your videos look pretty lively. Um, and it is a very great tool. But um, I did just get this program and it is really, really tough to actually understand what's so amazing about it. But um, there is a lot of controversy going around saying that um, the previous ones are more professional than the new one. Um, but hey, let's see how it turns out at the end. But right now, let's just get to color correction. Um, let's begin with this clip of my friend um, shooting his plastic revolver or airsoft revolver, which is metal, whatever. Anyways, um, you can already tell. Let's find a still image with his buck tooth. Eh. Anyways, um, let's get a maybe. Yeah, let's just go right here with out any um blurring. Anyways, um, y you can tell that this picture doesn't really look very lively. For one, there's like really no color, and second of all, it doesn't really look like it's eye candy okay <laughs> anyways so let's start off with color correction first off if you have this if you don't have anything right here um, press this information tab or the I button and right here is your correction this is your primary correction this is your color anyways but we are going to do be be messing with the correction one which is your primary color correction and to open your color wheel or well, not color wheel not in final cut pro 10 at least or x i'm sorry and it, it is more of a color board um obviously you see that there is no circles or wheels it, except for these four um, little contraptions and three tabs. Okay, so let's explain everything. Um, I am still new to color grading on here or color correction on here, but um, you can tell that this is your global, this is your shadows, and this is your midtones, and this is your highlights. That is for your color board. The saturation board, this is your global shadows, midtones, highlights. Same goes for right here. Okay, so let's begin. We are going to start on exposure first um, and possibly darken this a little bit. Uh, we are going to get go for a colorful look here in a bit. So if you see, this makes it look a lot more sharper. This it was recorded with a um, AVC HD camera. I still do not know how to import ABC HD into Final Cut, so I had to use my Adobe Media Encoder. Anyways, um, we can go with a negative 26, but normally it's preferred if you stay around the 20s range. Um, okay, so we can you can see what the that, that was the shadows, but now we can see what the midtone does. It um, brightens or darkens the exposure or the lighting of your midtones, obviously. So let's kind of put that um, down, negative 13. And then this is just your white balance, kind of. So um, we can make that a little bit bright. Kind of keep that sunlight in there. And now on to saturation. Saturation is your color or how lively your color looks. Okay, so we can start off with the darker things. Like you, if you bring this all the way, or if you bring your global all the way down, it is a grayscale, but we don't want that. We want a more colorful look. So we can boost up your global a little bit, maybe to five. Um, you'll see a difference here in a second. And then right here, we can boost up the shadows, maybe to 20. And you can also, if you want, you boost up this, to boost this up to 20. This is just a tutorial on um, how to use this. It's not really me making a really good color correction, but I'm just showing you guys what it can look like. 
Uh, this will give you a more of a s better look, but we're going to just keep that maybe at 8. Okay, so you have that, and now on to color, which is your tint. Your tint is a very vital, um, there this color tab is very vital to every shot, and since we are outside, we can take this global and move it into a little bit of yellow, maybe 3% is good, to give it a warmer feel. And then we can move, we don't even need to mess with the blacks or the shadows, because I mean, that's a lot of different work but uh, um okay yeah let's just do this let's keep the let's keep this at five okay and then now we can move our mid-tones if we want um we can give it not a bluish look really because it already has too much blue we can maybe go for a little bit more right here and then no all right that's good all right. Anyways, um, those that's pretty much the three tabs. And if you still don't think color correction really helps, you're wrong. So um, this right here, I will turn on and off, and I'll show you the difference of color correction. And remember, this was shot with a 1080p camera, um, so there's really nothing wrong with the camera. It's just that color correction is always needed. So um, let's preview between both voila that is the original clip yes that is the original clip and you can tell that it seems like there's a big gr it's like really gray that's because when recorded it lost a lot of sun or the uh, sunlight really didn't reflect as much color into the camera as much as you wanted unless you had an SLR camera which would be completely different but anyways, this was recorded with a Handycam, and so it didn't really take in all that color. And you can see me kind of flipping back and forth through it. Um, you can see everything looks more lively. And if you, let's kind of preview. This is a little clip from um, our upcoming video. But um, you can see that everything has much more color in it. <coughs> I previously uploaded this video. Um on my actual channel a millionaire and if you guys want to you guys can even check out the difference between this video and the actual video that I uploaded because the actual video wa was um, quite a while ago uh, maybe a few weeks and I really didn't have Final Cut Pro 10 at the time because it came out not too long ago and so now that I use color correcting, it looks so much better, honestly. Um, so aside from the color board, Final Cut already gives you pre-made or um, presets of video effects. If you go to your effect palette, um, if you don't have that um, open, um, just click this little button right by the camera looks like two squares um, just click on that and you can literally just go through and scrub right across each one to see if you uh, see which one you like the most if you want to use those um, there's a lot of cool effects on here honestly um, okay maybe let's just say we like this one All right, no you know what let's go to uh, let's find a good one we can maybe no. Yeah, let's try this one. No, you can't actually see the difference. All right. We're gonna go with a possible cross hatch. Okay. For example, you like this effect. What you would do is you would click on it, or you don't. You don't even need to click on it. But I mean, you can just take it, drag it, right on top of your clip and bam your picture or your video is rendered and do you see this orange bar right up here that is showing that it is pretty much rendering or is done rendering anyways this is all of the preset things that c you can use 
within your project and a lot of these are very helpful honestly like if you wanted a night vision look you can always do that um, I still don't know how to switch back and forth sadly I have no idea um, uh, maybe it's this one. Nope. <coughs> okay, but that's that's about it for color grading or color correction. And if you guys thought this was very helpful, uh, leave a comment below and thumbs up the video. And if you guys really want more, I can always upload some. I have a lot more effects videos coming, especially for After Effects. So you guys just stay tuned subscribe and hopefully you guys can check out everything else i got so thank you guys and have fun editing <laughs>